Welcome to the I Ching Cafe. My name is Belinda Dovston and it is our weekly I Ching forecast for the week commencing the 2nd of September 2024. The overview for the whole of September, the forecast for what to pay attention to for the month has just come out. So go and check that out if you'd like to work with what the I Ching is working with for the whole of September. Some very interesting energies with the well and with the gentleness of the wind shaping the world around us for the highest and the best. So go check that out. Now, last week we had <laughs> hexagram 23 splitting apart. Okay, and we had the idea of working with stripping away that which is no longer needed, cutting back to the core, working with separating out what is old and toxic and done, right? Clearing it out, protecting the entire house because you're willing to take down what is no longer working and the vigorous action that was called on us to do that this past week. Plus the keeping still hexagram, hexagram 52, asking us just to be still, to stop, to think, reflect, to bring things to a close, to create finalization, and to find a way to meditate, be calm, and be still. So in the week that was, where were you drawn to? What was no longer working? What needed to be stripped out and cleared away? And where did you need to just have time to be still? I had an interesting experience of, as in hindsight, we had a very big team and it became obvious this team was too cumbersome. And so I split the team into two, two parts right? Two sub teams. And suddenly, whew, the energy was just totally different in doing that. And I thought of like thumbnail, we tearing the piece of paper into two pieces. And I'm like, hmm. there was my message, right? And take the whole big cumbersome thing that's too heavy, it's too cumbersome with so many people all kind of being in one team and break them up into more focused teams. Mm, got it. Okay. And also that interesting hexagram 52, I'm a person that likes to get things done. I like to do things. And so I found myself actually just sitting for a bit on the weekend. And I was like, oh, this is uncomfortable. I don't like to just sit. I don't like to sit. I want to do something. I should be doing something. And I thought of the hexagram and I thought, actually, keeping still. Mm, this is uncomfortable. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to follow my own advice. So for you, any comments related to splitting apart, stripping, keeping still, do share that. Your comments are always so valuable that we all learn from them too. All right, so this week, the first full week of September, where are we going with this week? What is our attention most needed or where is our attention most needed for this week? Well, our first hexagram is hexagram 46, pushing upward. Okay, this is... The soil, the earth on top, right? Windward below it, the windward of the plant growing up, okay? And that plant pushing up through the soil, seeking the light. This is the hexagram of growth, of putting in the effort and having that effort rewarded because we are willing to do the work. It's an interesting hexagram. It's so different to 18, work on what's been spoiled, where the effort is because things have become corrupted. We have to put all this effort in and sweat it to get things back to where they were. This is a very different energy. We are sweating in the sun, right? We're doing the labor. We're doing the work. But there's an energy of we're getting somewhere. We are moving and we are growing because we are putting that effort in and we're doing the work. It's a wonderful hexagram of advance, of progress, of getting somewhere. But it has work attached to it. But there's a wonderful happiness about this work. There's an energy of getting things done. Our work will be rewarded. We're putting in the effort. We're working together. We're moving and we're going somewhere. Okay, so it's a wonderful hexagram. And also, you know, when you think about a plant, when it grows, it's very flexible. It's adaptable. And I spoke quite a bit about this in the monthly as well. And this energy of windward, right, as this plant comes up through the soil, it finds a little stone, doesn't get caught up on it, just goes around the stone because it has a very clear thing. It needs that light. It needs to photosynthesize. It needs the light. Okay, and so what does light mean to you at this time? What is light meaning to you this week? That's really important. You know, what does it mean? It's not just about sustenance. What is the light? What is we 
what is this light you and me and all of us we are working towards each one of us must answer that question so we work with this hexagram by putting in the effort and by going for it okay it's a wonderful energy. just work just work just put in the work okay it's a wonderful energy whether that work is on a personal level that works in your garden it works in your home that works at work okay wherever it is go for it the work energy is really good and healthy and gets us somewhere this week we have two changing lines the first and the second position so now you can imagine that changing line one is at the beginning okay it's the beginning of this upward ascent because the hexagram as much as i'm talking about a plant growing up to the layers of the earth it can also represent climbing the mountain ascending the mountain the mountain or the summit being that light we are aiming towards and when we think about that physical effort of climbing the mountain and putting one foot in front of the other okay i'm not talking about everest and near-death experiences i'm not talking about the hardship of that kind of mountain we're ascending the mountain symbolically of achieving something, reaching the summit. And all we have to do is put that work in of putting one foot in front of the other. So it's the beginning of the ascent. Okay. So this changing line, it says we just emerge and we're drawing on our roots. Think of that plant with its feet deep in the ground. We're drawing on our roots as our sustenance for the energy to push and to grow as that plant and to push up and out so we're drawing on our root system our values where we come from our knowledge our existing relationships we're drawing on all those things to push up and out and what happens in changing line one is oh someone sees us okay we recognize our value is seen and people want to support that so there's something around this energy of changing line one where it's wanting to remind us that we need to draw on our roots as a way of growing and that gets seen. Connections start to happen. People say, oh, I know that. I recognize. I see the value of what's happening there. I want to help you. I want to support you to grow. Okay. And then help comes. So it's a wonderful line of just drawing on your energy and being open to the connections where we are being seen. But for a while, we are drawing on our own reserves, right? We're not dependent on anyone to grow. We are drawing on what we already have to make our way. And then the help that we get by people seeing us and recognizing us is that cherry on the cake. It's a wonderful lift up to help us get to the next level. In changing line two, which is our next changing line, okay, the connections are made. So what is emerging out of the soil, okay, the growth process, here we have connections are made. And what we do is we go for it. We lean into it. We commit ourselves to the work. We do the work. We act with energy and we whistle while we work, okay? <laughs> right? And we get into it and we make the sacrifice. You know, this is not necessarily the sacrifice of like what we think sacrifice means, but we put in the work and we maybe put down some of our low pleasures or some of our hobbies or whatever it is this week to just... Mm, put the effort in maybe we need to reduce our social media or our netflixing or whatever okay we put in some effort and we make some sacrifices and we lean into it because the connections are powerful and we're just being given the opportunity to go for something this week so it's really really powerful and so it's our focus okay we can always choose to do something else or to not go this way that's what the process is here's a piece of information here's a perspective if it works for you that's great but certainly I'm going to be growing like crazy and taking advantage of the wonderful sunlight that's trying to help us all to grow. So because we have changing lines, first position, second position, we do have a second hexagram, a relating flow of change, something for us to pay attention to in addition to the first one. Our first one's almost like the main energy, right? The second one is where things evolve to what relates to this? How do we move forward? What's the victory we're moving towards? What could be a way of us moving through this with victory? And so it is, <laughs> how do we interpret this? Hexagram 36, again, darkening of the light. This was our second hexagram for the whole of last month. And you know how I love it when there's these interconnecting cycles like we had in August, right? Where our weekly was connected to our monthly and there's a whole process of we finish up August, but we're not quite finished. 
here this energy just takes us forward. There's still things that we need to stay undercover on here. Hex 136, darkening of the light, right? There's light that we need to protect. There's difficulty and there's some challenge on our outside world, right, around us. And what we need to do is just be cautious, right? Go undercover and keep doing what we need to do, but just have the protective curtain up, okay? This is not about putting on a mask that we never take off, okay? No, this is about putting on a protective cover and being conscious and aware of what is happening around us that sometimes is not the right time to go, wow! <laughs> sometimes we're with people where that is not going to go down well, okay? Either because people take, people smother, people, you know, people are weird. Okay, so in this situation, we just are conscious and aware, okay? And we recognize where we keep things private and hidden and when we share. Where are we in a safe space and when are we getting that kind of vibe? I'm not really sure where they stand on this and so I'm not going to share my idea. Or I'm not going to just, just yet, okay? There are lots of opportunities in the other hexagrams where sharing and being open and collaborating and going forward is a wonderful thing. There's something here that's a little off this week where we're just needing to be aware and keep things a little close for now. While they are ripening, while they are doing what they need to do, while you are doing what you need to do, right? The work that you are doing is keep things under wraps. So perhaps part of this growth process this week is recognizing where the growth needs to be going on unseen, right? What do you want people to see happen as growth? And where is the growth that should be a little hidden, a little covert, <laughs> be covert this week? Where do we need to make that distinction, all right? And just have a little bit of discernment around how we interact with that, with the outside world. Hmm. Maybe you're going through a process where you're trying to work out how you feel about something and just sharing it too soon when you haven't really gone through the process of understanding it lands badly okay so it's that kind of idea of just give yourself a little bit of a barrier a little bit of a protective shield to give yourself time until the time in the environment is more appropriate it's just the week okay we're wrapping up this hexagram 36 energy from the whole of august right that is our weekly we have got growth and work to do we're going to be busy bees this week as we put in the effort and we reap the rewards of our hard work and we're mindful of where do we work undercover, where do we work out in the open, and we use that discernment this week. Thank you so much. I wish you a wonderful, happy, whistling week of work. <laughs> if you found this valuable, a thumbs up, a like would be really great. Please subscribe if you are new to the channel. You know what to do, hit the bell right on the subscribe button so that you get the episodes into your app and of course the follow button on the podcast wherever fine podcasts are found you will find this podcast and i look forward to seeing you soon as we get stuck into our september weeklies working out well how do we maximize the monthly overview by tapping into the weekly flows of change until then take care